Hey there guys, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 level design essential series. In today's video we are going to be introducing you to BSP Geometry which is going to allow you to make the base layouts and basic shapes for your level. Now a level designer is going to use this BSP geometry to make what is known as a block out of your level. So this is going to be the base design, the base layout and then on top of this BSP geometry they are going to be placing their static meshes on top. On my screen you can see a couple of example, message, uh, example images of what a level designer would do with this geometry. So having said that I'm going to be going through some of these basic shapes explaining how the additive and the subtractive system works and how you can just generally manipulate them to get the look and the style that you're after. Now one thing I do want to mention is that I'm not forgetting about landscapes. I am simply just moving on to this before we go on to materials uh, to give our landscape some colour. So without further ado, let's dive in to working with BSP Geometry. So to access it, you need to go over to the Modes panel, go over to Place, Geometry, and then from here you have access to a couple of basic shapes. So getting these basic shapes into your scene is really easy. All you've got to do is just hold, click, drag and drop. And just before you release the left click, you can see we've got this little red box and this is just giving us a preview of what it's going to look like inside of our level. So what I'm going to do is just release my left click over here to drop it. And then from here, modifying this is really easy. You've got a couple of settings in the details panel on the right hand side, but you can also manipulate the size and the shape of this just by using the normal transformation tools. So if you wanted to, you could rotate this left and right and you're going to see it's going to update. I can also proceed to shape it so I can change the size of it using the scale tool or I can also click it and move it up and down as well using the translate tool. So, let's go through some of the more complex settings that you might want to go into. So what I'm going to do is quickly delete the one that I just had there, and I'm going to drag a new box into here. And this time, in the details panel on the right hand side, I'm going to go through some of the settings. I'm going to ignore additive and subtractive for now, and instead I'm going to focus on this stuff. So first things first, you've got the brush shape. And what you can do is change this to all of these different shapes here after you've created it. Now, if I wanted to, I could change this to a cube and stuff. It's entirely up to you. But for now, I am just going to leave this to the box. Now, the scaling settings are here. You've got your X, your Y, and your Z. And these are basically controlling the size and the shape of your box. You can see in the bottom left hand corner of my viewport here, I've got my X, my Y and my Z. So Z is your height and then your X and your Y are your length and your width. So what I'm going to do is just quickly play around with some of these settings. So if I wanted to, I can make this slightly flatter by either just clicking, dragging and turning this number down by playing with these arrow controls or if I need to, I can manually define a value. So if I wanted to, I could set this to dead on 50 like this. And then for the X and the Y, if I wanted to, I can set this to 250 by 250. It's entirely up to you. But this is just going to allow you to get the shape that you are after. Now, one of the other controls we've got down here is hollow. And that's pretty self-explanatory. It just controls whether or not this cube is going to be a hollow shape because when you go inside of it, just fly into it with your camera, it's completely empty, it's not two-sided, and there's nothing there. If I was to set my Z a little bit higher to help us, you know, view this a little bit easier, so if I set this to something like 100, and then check hollow and go into this, you can now see that we've got walls on the inside, we've got a ceiling, we've got a bottom, and all of that good stuff. Now, when you turn on hollow, we also get this setting for wall thickness. And this is just going to control how thick the walls are. So at the moment, the walls are quite thin. If I just fly into the walls like this, you can see there's a slight gap here. And that gap is about 10 Unreal units. 
So if I wanted this to be thicker walls, I could set this to something like 30, and you can see the walls have got a little bit thicker. And that's really as simple as it is. Now, you're really going to see this wall thickness come into play in just a moment. So what I'm going to do quickly is show you how the additive and the subtractive brushes work. And to really show you how to do this, I'm going to move this shape over here, and then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that I can cut into this and you can see what's going on in the insides. So first things first, I'm going to change the height of this, and I'm going to set this to 500. And then, also, if I just drag this so it's above the floor, also, if I change my X and my Y to specific values again, I'm just going to set this to 500 by 500. And now what I'm going to do is grab another brush, so make another box brush, and then with this, we can use this to make a doorway. And the way we're going to do this is by changing the brush type in the details panel to subtractive. And the way that this brush is now going to work is if you make this overlap an additive brush, it's going to take away from it. So let me show you. So if I drag this into the wall a little bit here, move it up, you can see it has now pretty much almost made us a little doorway because it's taking away from that hollow shape that we have already. And that's a quick and easy way of making a building. And once again, I can continue to scale this subtractive brush either using the transform tools at the top or alternatively, I can just play around with the settings over here. So if I wanted to, I can make it super tall. I could make it smaller, so 50. It's entirely up to you. You have complete control. And this is essentially how you would make that base layout for your level. Now, there's still some other stuff that we need to go over for uh, BSP geometry, but I'm going to leave the video here. So once again, if you want some more BSP goodness, make sure you head over to the next video. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.